Okay, so you've gotten all the way around and you've tied it off, finished off your blacks. Now we are going to do the toe of the shoe here. So, whoops, got to get my white. So for me, because of my tight knitting or crocheting, I do, I stay with my G hook on this toe. And I do that because of my tight crochet. So now what we need to do, if you're not a tight crocheter, then you can use your F hook. We're going to do a magic ring. And we need to chain two. Oops, wasn't in there, but here's a magic ring and I chain two. Now I put in 10 double crochet in this magic ring. And this is what you call a mixed up mess here. Don't ask me what I did here. Oops. Start that stitch all over again. Okay, so I've got 10. Now I'm going to pull this magic ring up, but not all the way. All I want is a half circle. Okay. Now from here I turn and I chain two. And I do two half double crochet in the first stitch. Now I do a double crochet and I do two half double crochet in the next one. And I do that around to the end, to the other side. Now from there, you don't turn, you just chain one, and you want to sing crochet along, uh, eight sing crochet along this flat edge here, and make sure you put two of them in the center.
which will be three on each flat end. And we get two in the center here. Now along this edge here, I'm going to kind of tie in that in there, that tail. So you've got eight. <coughs> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip through and I'm going to leave me a two to three foot tail because we're going to be using this tail to tie this toe, sew this toe, onto the shoe. And we get our contrasting color, which is the green that I used before. Pull this through. I'm going to take my tail here, my green, build me a loop, flip it over. Being a little clumsy today. Okay, there we go. Slip stitch. Or chain one. Now I'm going to sink crochet right back into that. I'm going to leave that tail out because we want to use that. Now for me, this green thread yarn that I'm using is a little lighter than the um, white thread. So I'm actually going to put two in this stitch because I want to make sure that we've got a good tongue here that goes to the edge. So we single crochet across, which would be eight sink crochet. Or nine if you put two in there. And if you put two in there, this really isn't, this section of it really isn't that hard to uh, manage. So you're going to turn chain one and you're going to sink crochet back across I uh, don't have her today what are you doing I'm doing a video I assume you kind of want it to be quiet. <laughs> My daughter's here, so if you're wondering what the chit chatting is. <laughs> What's up? Just came to see Kinsley. Oh. No, tomorrow. Since I. Uh, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so that was row two. We turn. And we chain now on mine there'll be nine on yours there'll be eight but that's just because this thread is a little lighter and 
so and it's just a little adjustment that you can do if you want to turn and we'll do one more row so this will be row four Like I said, you know, it all depends upon how you crochet, if you crochet loose, if you crochet tight, um, and what size your thread is. The size of your thread also makes a big difference. Okay, so now we'll turn. We're on to row five. This is where we're going to chain one. But we're going to skip that first stitch and we're going to go into the next stitch. And this would be where you sink crochet five. Now I'm going to do six because I put nine on here. But this is where you would crochet five. Now you want to skip that stitch and go into the last stitch and sink crochet. Chain one, sink crochet in the same stitch in the first stitch. Now here is where you do do this at least five more rows. And this all depends upon how long you want your tail, your tongue of your shoe, or how long you need the tongue of your shoe. Now me, I will probably have at least two more rows on, if not three, only because I like my tongue a little bit long. Just about there for, we'll check this up against the shoe. Okay. Okay, so, now what you need to look at when you're looking at this, Kind of lay it there. See now that some people would call that good, but I want another row or two on there because I want to make sure that that tongue is long enough. So I'm going to put another two rows on here. Probably two rows. If you don't need to put two rows on and you think your tongues are long enough, then go ahead and uh, fasten it off and hide your tail is what you'll do. And I'll be back once I get that done and 
fastened off. Now, you're probably thinking, Lisa, there's a hole in the middle of the top of my shoe. You see that? So his socks would show through. So let's say you've got, you don't want blue socks showing through or pink socks showing through or whatever, because it would really show through where this is a white top. So let me show you how you can finish off the, that there and close that hole so you can't see the socks show through. Because do socks show through on, on shoes? No, they don't. I'm having a hard time threading this thing. There we go. This is why I like my longer tails. Okay. So we're going to thread back through here. And I hope you can see this. I'm going to come up on, because this is the wrong side of the, the top of the thing. I'm going to come down here just a little bit. Now, if your hole is closed, more power to you, honey. Now I'm going to come over to this other side and grab hold a little bit. Pull it tight and then come back across here and just start weaving my ends in. See, no hole. Now we're going to sew the top of this to your top of the shoe. the rest of the shoe and like I said I left two or three feet of a tail here so I have room to do this sewing kind of match it up and join here where the You want to make sure you tack that good, because that'll be the weak spot. And now you just kind of whip stitch your way around this. I'll be back when I get around to the other end. Okay, so I've got the toe whip stitched on. Now we need to do the laces. So what I've done is I have switched back to my F hook. And I have just chained 130. I do 130 to 140. However, this this is where me chain. Sorry about that, ladies. I belched there. Uh, you want to chain tight. You don't want these being loopy or anything like that. So this is the one time my tight crocheting is good. Is I chain that real, you know, pretty darn tight. Pardon me. 
And now we weave these in as shoelaces. And I like the longer shoelaces. I do. Because it just makes it easier to tie and untie these little burgers. We are used to tying long laces, having tails. Now you can do that right now, but we need to put the little emblem on here. And it's always easier if we do this before we lace it. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now what we do is we take our black yarn again and we do the same slip stitching, only we'll go all around the entire front of the shoe, uh, around the entire shoe instead of just part way. And where we join at is where the green and the white join because you want to kind of hide that uh, zigzaggy, you know, type thing. And you'll do a slip stitch now. Once again, I'm back to my G hook because me and my tight crocheting and you go all the way around got a little ahead of myself wanting to do shoestrings and be done with this thing also for the star and the to do the emblem I took some two millimeter felt cut a circle out uh, it might be an inch across and then took some one millimeter black and cut a star out and I glued this down with some liquid stitch now my idea to start with was to glue this to the shoe do it the easy way however for some reason it doesn't want to stick to the shoe and be sturdy so we'll be sewing that on by hand with uh, some black thread. So I'll be back as soon as I get this stitched all the way around, finished off, and this sewn on. And probably the shoelace is on. So be back in a bit. Okay, so <laughs> we've got this sewed on. Oops, got the camera tilted. Uh, if you notice, let's see if I can get this to show up here. Come on, focus. So I glued the, the black star of one millimeter felt to the white star. And then I hand sewn the white star to the shoe. Now I've tried different glues to try and just glue it on and do it the cheap, do it the easy way. And, um... Uh, I couldn't find nothing there to work, but I got the shoelaces in. Like I said, I like my tongues a little long. They're laced up. And there you go. I hope, or there you go. And this would be a newborn size, you know month or two you know the this one here isn't very big it's when you get up start getting into if you do the same thing using a bigger hook your sole is bigger it's a little bit bigger but there you go happy crocheting everybody